Th thank you, uh, Chairwoman Cantwell and, and uh, Vice Chairman Barrasso for paying attention to this issue and also for uh, focusing this hearing on what I think is an, is an extremely important issue. And, and Senator Franken, um, what you said, same is true in New Mexico. We have, we have uh, communities that have suicides and they need help and sequestration has damaged them. And so people should know across the country this uh, is having a big, big impact. Sequestration and contract support costs are pressing issues for Indian country. Two issues I've been hearing consistently from the tribes over the past year. And I'd like to echo the sentiment heard here today and across Indian country that tribal programs should be exempted from sequestration, especially the Indian Health Service. It is shameful that IHS is the only direct federal medical service agency not exempted in some way from sequestration. In negotiating sequestration, Congress hoped to protect the most vulnerable individuals in our nation. In Indian country, we fell woefully short. Let's just remember, over and over it was said, sequestration was going to protect the vulnerable. We did not do that when it came to the nation's tribes. This hearing is an important opportunity for tribal leaders to make Congress aware of the important, the, the impact of sequestration on their constituents and on already chronically underfunded programs. Contract support costs are a vital part of tribal self-determination and self-governance. I think everyone here today can conf confidently acknowledge the positive outcomes that have resulted from tribes having the option to contract and carry out their own services. Unfortunately, funding for contract support costs has consistently fallen short. This injustice to tribes has been acknowledged on multiple occasions by the Supreme Court, most recently in the Raymond Navajo decision, which came out of New Mexico and which uh, Michael Gross and several other attorneys worked on uh, for many years. It clearly is a time for Congress, the administration, and tribal leaders to identify a clear new path forward, one that will allow the success of tribal contracting to continue in a more just manner. I look forward to buckling down with my colleagues on this committee to help resolve this long-standing issue. I strongly encourage the administration to seriously engage tribal leaders on this issue and to work with Congress and Indian country to identify a mutually beneficial way forward. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair, and very much appreciate uh, the opportunity here.